All right, man, let's set the stage. From the depths of Fulton County Jail, Young Thug fired off a tweet straight to Drake, Future, and Metro booming. He added all of them and said, we all brothers, man. Music ain't the same without us collabing. Now that single tweet from Thugger hit the hip hop world like a grenade. It's not every day that a man fighting for his freedom takes a break from one of the longest RICO trials in Georgia's history to play peacemaker amongst rap's biggest stars. This wasn't just a casual post. It was a message about legacy, lost, brotherhood, and fractures that fame, ego, and the industry beefs can create. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, Drake and Metro Boomin's beef. This fallout hasn't just affected personal relationships, it's taken a visible toll on their music. Metro at one point cryptically tweeted, if I told everyone why we have issues, it would make both of us look crazy, giving fans a taste of just how deep this conflict runs. Meanwhile, Future, known for riding alongside Drake for years, remember what a time to be alive? Seems to have sided with Metro in the fallout. Rumor has it that Drake Field's future was swayed by Metro, with some even speculating that Future's recent digs and songs were aimed directly at the Toronto rapper. And now, enter Young Thug, who's been sitting behind bars watching this drama unfold with so much time to reflect. Thugger is clearly grappling with what's really worth fighting for. This is a man who held a grudge against rich homie Quan until it was too late to reconcile and who has lost multiple loved ones, including a close friend and a mother of his child to street violence. At just 33 years old, Thug is in a place where he knows life is short and any shot at reconciliation between his friends might be the only legacy he has left to shape. Future's retweet of Thug's message adds another layer to the saga. Was it a genuine olive branch or just a respectful nod to his incarcerated brother? With Drake feeling the weight of betrayal and possibly throwing shade back with subtle bars, the tension between these titans is thick. Even Drake's recent music hasn't performed the way his past records did, leaving fans wondering whether the possible riffs are affecting his creativity and success. So what now? Can these musical giants put their differences aside and bring back the magic that once defined them? Or are we witnessing the slow disillusion of a legendary era? Young Thug clearly believes peace is possible, but only time will tell if this tweet sparks reconciliation or if it's simply a passing gesture drowned out by the industry's relentless pace. One thing's for sure, Thug's plea reminds us all if peace doesn't happen soon, the game might never be the same. Let's talk about it. Hey man, now listen man, that jail, sitting in that cell, boy, it'll give you a whole nother perspective on life, man. And I ain't knocking your thug at all. I ain't knocking him. And I get what he doing, man. He's saying, yo, we should all just continue making music together. We made hits. Now, according to Metro Boomin, this is deeper than rap. Now, we all know people speculating it has something to do with Drake and a woman as usual. I don't know what the truth is. We know that Drake is... Drake is a snake when it comes down to women, man. Let's just be honest. When it comes down to women, he holds no limitations. He holds no boundaries. He doesn't respect boundaries at all. Now, that's just the rumor. So, I don't want to say that that's actually what happened. But it is a rumor that that has something to do with Metro Boomin and Drake. Now, we all know these is all tender dick niggas when it comes down to Drake, Future, Metro. I understand. People were saying that, hey, he snaked out Future over a girl in Miami. We do not know. But if you listen to the music, it would all make sense. Now, Metro. Now, I get it, man. Young Thug is saying, hey, man, let's just all make music. But sometimes, man, I don't want to be your friend. And that's the vibes that I'm getting from this situation. I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be cool with you. Now, it's easy for you to say that because you have nothing but time, young thug, just sitting behind the wall, you fighting for your life, and we respect that. That's why nobody said nothing crazy. You know, Future might have just retweeted it. But at the same time, sometimes friendships run their course, and it could be over. Now, Drake is the type of person 
where he real uh, reconcile with you. I've seen it. I don't know what type of f- person Future is. I don't know what type of person Metro Boomin is. But I know if it makes sense for Drake, he will reconcile with you. Now, the I see that you and Future used to have a beef. Y'all got cool. Y'all got the misunderstanding straight. So maybe there is room. But you also were the same person that didn't want to change your beef with Rich Homie Quan, And I understand that. And we all respected that. Now, at the same time, growth happens. Losing Rich Homie Quan the way that everybody did, you being in a cell, you probably feel like, damn, he did try to reach out to me. He did always say, hey, you know, I'm down to reconcile with Thug. And you thought that probably was because he just wanted to kick his career back up off the ground. But he could have been looking at you like, hey, that was a real near and dear friend in my heart. So there's a lesson learned. You know, you lost people to the streets. You're putting things into perspective. I understand and I respect that. But we just don't know what this situation is about as fans, especially me as a commentator. I don't know what this is about for me to even tell who's what's what and what's going on and do they need to be cool. And I'm going to be honest with you. And I know this might go against popular popular belief, but I didn't heard enough Drake and Future records to where I don't mind if they make music again together or not. Now, if they do, hooray for them. Congratulations. I'm glad y'all could get yourself back into the studio, be cool, make music. And I'm sure some hits will churn out. But, I mean, I'm just not crying if they'll never make music again. Actually, I kind of like Rick Ross and Drake's music better than I personally like Future and Drake's music together. That's just my personal opinion. But I ain't losing sleep about this situation. I think that... They can go their separate ways and still be successful. I don't think they need each other. I know that, you know, contrary to popular belief, a lot of the, especially the Drake fans, they try to make it seem like Drake has only helped out other people's career as if there was no benefit uh, that they gave to Drake. But I find that hard to believe. Honestly, I don't even like bringing stats and numbers into this situation. I actually think that I just want to believe that they made great music together. I don't care that Money in the Grave just hit a billion streams. Oh, Drake gave Rick Ross his first a billion streams. Or, you know, he gave Future his first number one. Or, you know, Future did this for Drake. He gave him street cred. I don't really care about that, man. The beef is over as far as, like, just the whole back and forth at the moment. I just enjoyed the great music that they had. But time goes on. I don't even think this is a real beef, to be honest. It's not a street beef. I honestly do think that they will be cool and they'll give us music. I think that's why I'm just not sweating it the way that other people are. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all really care if these guys are friends or not the way that Thug is? Now, Thug is just sitting in jail. He ain't got shit to do. He's just sitting here eating Snicker bars and um, and, and, and making <laughs> jail meals. So does he really really you know gonna is he really gonna care about this once he gets out is he really trying to make peace you know or do y'all really you know like is this important y'all let me know man i don't don't really know what to say about this situation to be honest with you man like share subscribe comment hit that notification bell and we out baby Him. Yeah.